All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We already crushed a 7K subscriber goal, so we are going to update that board here for you guys. Look at Joe Burrow looking at all these nice, tasty giveaways. We have the 8K sub jersey giveaway. We have the 9K sub sports memorabilia giveaway. 10K subs, the big one, $1,000 giveaway, and the 12K subs. We're going to send a couple people to a game of their choice. Guys, we are very excited for the football season, but no more talking. Let's get right into this video, Trey. All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Wednesday, October 25th slate of games. Trey, before we get into the leaderboard, before we do anything else, let's throw up the teams for this week. Let's throw up that graphic for the teams. Uh, Seth, you, if you want to, I'll let you, I'll let you read your own lineup. As, as a coach, I know when another coach talks about their kids, I get a little angry, so I'll let you talk about them. Yeah, and at point guard, we're going to have the super speedy William Glover, mm -hmm. 9593. At shooting guard, we have the dead eye, Mike Peacock, <laughs> underscore 7728. We have the not so King James at small forward, mm -hmm. JLag33. At power forward, we have Mally, GG7153. And rounding it out, our big man, AO Lanny. Head coached by me, the best, Seth Stacks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it looks like a good lineup. I don't know any of those players. They, they got to make a name for themselves. But uh, my point guard is going to be Jacob Attencourt. Uh, he was here with us last year. He's a stud. And then we got another – we got a new guy here at the two, uh, Underwood. He just he just feels like – he just sounds like a sharpshooter for me. Uh, had to go with Real Talk Tone. You want to talk about a three. You want a leader of the team. That's such a good name, Real Talk Tone. I had to pick him out. Element Ed is back from last year as well. He was a he was a beast last year for me. He's going to be starting at the four. And then we have Coach Chavez. He's looking for the head coach next year from me. Uh, he's the assistant coach right now, but we're going to put him in the center spot. Uh, he's still a baller. He's he's got a couple more years. He's like the Udonis Haslam of the league. Um, but you know what? We're going to put him at the center spot for our game tonight. And then I'm going to be the head coach. Uh, I'm going to go five and zero this week. But Trey, what's your team looking like? Yeah, I, I honestly kind of feel bad for you guys because my team is stacked full of mm -hmm. legends. And full of newcomers that are looking to make a name for themselves. At my point guard spot, a guy that honestly can throw up a dirty lob in Garrett Flowers, 3356. And then at the shooting guard, this guy can torch up the nets quicker than anybody. Dennis Caldwell Jr., 4694. Oh, yeah, and then you guys don't even know this small forward guy. Just wait till I tell you about him. DWD436. He was with us last season and he was a dog in the paint, but. I transitioned him out to the small forward a little bit, so it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how that transition goes. And then power forward, this guy, if you remember, he is the European Slavic King John, and it is Brett Zaccarello four four as my power forward. And this guy, guys, he is Victor Wimbanyama esque, but he's kind of bigger, seven foot eight, four hundred fifty pound center. Peter Lewis ninety six fifty three. And yours truly, Trey Trends. I guys, I got plays in my back pocket, just waiting to come up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, are you are you worried about the transition to the league though? Putting your four to the three. I mean, does he have the outside J? I mean, he definitely has the athleticism. He's he's kind of like a Zion. He was playing the power forward, but he can transition to the small forward. He has the hops for it. So he's a little chunky. All right, um, guys, these are our teams for this week. If you see your name. Comment down below the team. So it's going to be hashed for my team. It's going to be hashtag bear and the player prop you like for Wednesday night games. Okay. Hashtag bear player prop you like for Wednesday night games. If you're on my team, if you're on those guys' teams, if they don't matter, you can put hashtag Trey, hashtag Seth, and then followed by a player prop. We'll get all your guys' player props. And hopefully as a team, we can see some six and zero run on the boards. But guys, let's get into the leaderboard really quick. Trey, I'll have you start us off. And one, two things to say about that. Okay. Number one rule. Bear, like Come you always back. said last season, and it's caring Come for back. this season. If you edit your comment, it's hard to, for us to know when you edited it. So if you edit your comment, you may be disqualified. So just be aware of that. And two, if your name's not on the board, still drop down comments because who knows, our starting lineup might not show up any given mm -hmm. day, and we'll need a backup there. So if you want to be a backup plan, comment down hashtag Trey or hashtag Bear with your player prop, and you might make the lineup. We need yeah, some my, six men. Six men are key in this league. We need. Yeah, my, my apologies, guys. Uh, I didn't say all the rules. If you're on the team this week, you're not going to be there next week. We have we're going to have a list um, so everybody can get involved in the community. So if you still want to play, hashtag Bear, hashtag Trey, hashtag Seth in the chat in the chat. But yeah, if you guys are on the list, please show up. Give us a player prop. And whenever you if you pick a player prop and you don't want it, 
just send another comment. Don't edit the first one. Just send another comment. So that way we have a we have a day mark or a time mark on it. So we make sure we don't cheat here. So, uh, yeah. And we're going to be playing for what did we did. We mention anything. We say twenty five bucks a week. Is that what we went with? I think it was 50 bucks a week or I think it was maybe 25 bucks per person. I can't remember which one we agreed on. So, oh yeah. Okay. So we're going to go 50 bucks a week and then we're going to put the winning team on a wheel. We're going to spin it. Is that what we decided? Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys want to be in these winning team gets $50. We're going to put the names on the wheel, the five names. We're going to spin it and give away 50 bucks. So good luck to everybody besides Trey and Seth team. And uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I am 0-0 at the moment, but guys, I've been through an emotional roller coaster. If you watched our videos yesterday or watched it in the past, you know I'm a Lakers fan and a LeBron fan, and that's the game we were talking about. And I gave out Los Angeles plus four and a half in this game. It's been up and down. We've been down big, down small, down big, down small. Currently, at the moment in time, down eight. So we just need to hold out hope that King James and Prince Davis are going to show up in the fourth for us. Seth? Yeah, and I have the under 228 and a half. Not looking good. This game is a lot more high scoring than I figured it would be on opening night. And I also took the Lakers on the money line. Nuggets are letting them stick in it. They had a 16-point lead at one point in time. Nuggets are letting them stay around. I, I, I'm still holding out hope that the uh, Lakers can put this one away on the road. Honestly, Seth, the under doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think you're. I think you're right on pace with it, but – couple things. Did you guys see the ring of the Denver Nuggets? They have an inside chamber that comes out, and it has a banner on it. It's oh. sick. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah, the Denver Nuggets are winning by 11 right now. I got a minus four and a half quick switch because the Lakers fans on this, uh, on this channel, on this on this video, the, made me switch to the Nuggets minus four and a half. And so far it's working out. Hopefully it stays that way. But let's take a look at our place for tomorrow. Try how do you start us off? Yeah, and my game, it is going to be this Minnesota Timberwolves at Toronto Raptors game. And honestly, this might be one of the better games on the Wednesday slate because both teams, in my opinion, though, are going to be going in opposite directions pretty quickly. The Timberwolves, they went all in on their roster with the addition of Rudy Gobert last season and the contract extension for Anthony Edwards this offseason. Meanwhile, the Raptors, they let Fred Van Fleet walk. And they've been floating out basically their entire roster on the trade block for the last handful of seasons. And they're fired their championship head coach in Nick Nurse, not to mention their new head coach. I've never even heard of this guy. He may be a genius, who knows, but he is a former G League head coach in Darko Rajovic. Not for sure if I pronounced it right, but he is a former Serbian head coach and a former Serbian player. So it looks like they are trying to stare down a rebuild here rather than compete. So give me the Timberwolves here on the money line in this game. They just have the way better roster, in my opinion. And I just think they're going to dominate here in the paint. They're significantly bigger than the Raptors. And the T-Wolves threesome of Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert, they are just going to eat alive the threesome of Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, and Jakob Pertl. The T-Wolves, they are just going to be able to dominate the glass here in this game and in turn win this game here. So give me Minnesota here on the money line versus the Raptors. Yeah, try to do like that play, Seth. Yeah, and I'm going to go to the Hawks and the Hornets, and I am going to take the Atlanta Hawks on the money line at minus – actually, you know what? No, no. I'm going to take a minus three and a half here on the spread. Charlotte's defense is awful. They did not do anything this offseason to correct anything, and all they worry about is trying to score points, and nobody on that team plays defense. The Hawks are led by their two starting guards, DeJounte Murray and Trey Young who can both put up huge, huge scoring numbers. I'm not a big fan of Charlotte this season. I, I, they, they did nothing this offseason, nothing this offseason to correct their woes from last season. Atlanta did trade John Collins, but they still have their main core together outside of that. So I do like Atlanta here in game one on the road to win by four points. Yeah, Seth, I like that play as well for my play today. I'm going to be looking at the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to take the Nets at home to win this game on the money line against the Cavs. My player prop's going to shock you guys, so I'm not going to talk about them yet. But I do think that the Nets have a lineup that can get them in the playoffs again this season. They have a couple stars on their team with Mikel Bridges. And I know a lot of people don't like Spencer Dinwiddie, but he's really stepped up his game over the last couple of years. They also have the big man back, Nick Claxton, who's dominant in the paint last season on defense and offense. The bench also looks really good this season, having a lot of role players coming off the bench for that second team. 
I think this is going to be a good team this season. On the other side, we know the Cavaliers are a pretty good team, but their lead man and point guard, Darius Garland, is coming into this game day to day. He's questionable to play in this game. Um, and once we get past that starting lineup for the Cavs, it is a significant drop off on the bench. They have Chris LeVert on the bench. And other than that, it's Isaac Okoro and Niang, who aren't terrible options coming off the bench, but they aren't the best. I think the Nets are the more complete team, and I think they're going to get it done in a low-scoring game. Both teams should be really good, hard defense in this game. So take the Brooklyn Nets at home as my play. Guys, let's go over the player prop. Seth? Yeah, on mine hit within the first two minutes of the game. I took Torian Prince over one and a half threes, and he so far has four three-pointers in this game. Um, three and D guy, I told you I went to the board and just looked for somebody who shoots threes. He hit it within the first two minutes, so. Very good first pick in the NBA season for you, young man. Uh, I have Nikola Jokic, over 48.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's currently sitting at, I believe, 37 with five minutes left in the third quarter. So, I mean, hopefully he does get that. By the way, I, I talked to these guys before. Nikola Jokic is still the best player in the league. He's still got it uh, for sure. But let's get into our plays for tomorrow. Trey, how do you start us off? Yeah, and I really, really love my play. I'm going to be taking Kristaps Porzingis here, over 26.5 PRs versus the Knicks. Not to mention, this game is in New York, so this is a perfect spot for a revenge game special because Porzingis, he is going to be booed vigorously throughout this game, and I think he's going to play great right through that noise because over his last five games versus the Knicks, he is averaging over this number because he's averaging 34 minutes per game, and he turns that to a 21.4 point and 8.8 .8 rebound average. That comes out to 30.2 PRs, which is above this number, and the duo of Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein just do not scare me whatsoever because Porzingis, he should just be able to dominate them on the perimeter. And the Celtics offense, quite honestly, is perfect for Porzingis as well because Boston, they love to chuck up three-pointers and Kristaps can shoot the three ball with the best of them. So give me Kristaps Porzingis to go over 26.5 PRs versus the Knicks. Oh, and also the Celtics got rid of both the Williams. So I think Porzingis is just going to grab all the rebounds today. I love the play, Trey. Seth? Yeah, and for my second player prop mm. on the show, I am going to take Trey Young over 26 and a half points against the Hornets. The Hornets had a 114.7 defensive rating last season that ranked them 27th in the NBA in team defense. They also allowed 14.3 second chance points, so this is a very, very bad defense. Trey Young had 25 points in both games against the Hornets last season, so he was right around this 26 and a half mark. And he is also my sleeper for NBA scoring leader. I, I really do like Trey Young. He puts up a ton of shots. That's another thing that makes this prop really easy for me to take is he's going to get his no matter what. He's going to put shots up, and he's going to put them up on a consistent basis. He has a great matchup against a defense that really struggled last year and didn't really do anything to improve their defense. And on top of that, both of these Hornets guards think about offense so much they forget to guard anyone on defense. So I do like Trey Young here to go over 26 and a half points, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets 30-plus in this game. Don't don't be taking shots at Terry like that. I won't have it on here. Terry's our boy. Trey, tell him. Oh, Terry. Back it oh, up, Terry. Terry. Oh, Terry. All right, yeah. Uh, good pick. I do like the play. Uh, for my player for out today, it's going to be Ben Simmons. Over 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists going up against the Cavs. I'm 100% certain I'm going to have some people in the comments give me heat for this play, but I just simply don't care. Ben Simmons, after taking all the crap and all the heat over the last couple of years, he's really turned himself around, I think. We're going to find out a lot about him in the first game, but in the four games we saw him in the offseason, he was playing very well. He shot at least four times in all four games, which is something we didn't see him do too often towards the end of the regular season last year. So it does look like he has more confidence in his game and in the shot. The stats are always going to be there for this guy. He's distributing the ball and rebounding the ball very well. He had six-plus rebounds and seven-plus assists in three of the four games in the offseason. That's always going to be there for them or for him. He's got the hustle stats. I like what I saw in the offseason, and I think Ben Simmons is going to have a much better year, and he's going to shock some people. So give me Ben Simmons in the first game to go over 20.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Trey, let's take a look at that graphic. Seth, start us off. Yeah. Hawks money line against Charlotte. I, I, I don't think Charlotte did anything this offseason that makes me super impressed with them. They were a bad team last year. I think they're going to be just as bad this year. Hawks will win the first game. And then I have Trey Young over 26 and a half points. Like I said, it's likely he could go 30 plus against the two guards he's facing that do not play defense. Trey? Yeah, and you could put all of those money lines that we gave out in a parlay, and I bet it's pretty juicy. Mm -hmm. But for me, I gave out the Tim Wolves on the money line versus the Raptors. It is a road game for the Tim Wolves, but I think they are the better team here. And I think their size is going to end up giving them the win. 
And I also took Kristaps Porzingis over 26 and a half PRs versus the Knicks. Sweet, sweet, sweet revenge game special spot. And Kristaps going to want to play through the noise. Going to be a lot of boos in this game going his way. But I think he's going to chuck up a ton of three-pointers and grab a lot of boards. Yeah, and I like the Nets and the money line against the Cavs. And I like Ben Simmons over 20.5 PRA. I think he's going to get a double-double in the game with rebounds and assists alone. So I like Ben Simmons tomorrow night. Hopefully he has a really good year. I feel bad for him. But, guys, that's going to do it for NBA plays and props for Wednesday, October 25th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You can click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 